and welcome to UWID. Today we will be discussing glycogenesis. As we know glucose is broken down in the cytosol of the cell to form energy for physiological functions. After the production of required amount of energy the excess glucose in the body is converted to be used later during the fasting stages but glucose is not stored in its original form but is converted into glycogen. The synthesis of glycogen from glucose is called glycogenesis. The occurs in the cytosol and requires ATP and UTP as energy. There are four steps of glycogenesis reactions. The first one is the synthesis of UDP glucose. Second is requirement of a primer to initiate glycogenesis. Third glycogen synthesis by the enzyme glycogen synthase and the last step is formation of branches in the glycogen chain. First of all glucose in the presence of glucokinase or hexokinase is converted into glucose 6-phosphate and this step utilizes ATP molecule. A point to be noted here is that glucose is present in the liver at the point glucokinase acts and in the muscle hexokinase is the enzyme. An enzyme phosphoglucomutase then acts on glucose 6-phosphate and converts it into glucose 1-phosphate. UDP glucose is then formed from glucose 1-phosphate and the enzyme which catalyzes this reaction is called UDP glucose phosphorylase. A molecule of UTP is utilized in this step. Glucose attaches to this UDP molecule to form UDP glucose. Now a primer is required to start the glycogen synthesis and usually a pre-existing small fragment of glycogen is used but in the absence of glycogen fragment a protein called glycogenin accepts the glucose from the UDP mole glucose molecule. Thus glycogen initiates synthase transfers the first molecule of the glucose to glycogenin forming a primer. Now the glucose molecule in each UDP glucose are transferred to the primer in every step of the process. By the help of the enzyme glycogen synthase, thus the enzyme is responsible for the 1,4 glycosidic bond between the glycogen chain. Now branch formation takes place which is done by enzyme glycosyl alpha 4,6 transferase. The main aim of this enzyme is to transfer alpha 1,4 bonds to alpha 1,6 for chain formation. The enzyme transfers 5 to 8 molecules of glucose and produces chains in the pre-existing simple chain of glycogen. Thus a combination of two enzyme glycogen synthase and glycosyl alpha 46 transferase. These two enzymes causes result in the production of glycogen. Now if you like the video make sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel to never miss an update. Thank you.